In nature, there is only one currency, energy. There is only one central bank, the sun. In nature's economy, no one ever amasses a surplus, and no one ever goes into debt. All must live within their means. The solar budget always balances. But over hundreds of millions of years, a perfect storm of geology, chemistry, and physics created an accidental savings account of stored sunlight. Oil, that is. Hidden away in secret vaults around the globe, it was useless to everyone. Everyone except I grew up in West Texas. This is one of the first things I saw when I opened my eyes. What the hell could it be? Well, that's an oil well, honey. It gives us lights and television and, and gas to go see Grandma. We like oil. Yeah, okay. It was clear I would have to find my own answers. Alien invaders from outer space? Or how about giant robotic mosquitoes created by a mad scientist? How could I have known that because we lack oil, just four decades later, I would have a ringside seat at the greatest catastrophe in human history? How could anyone have known? It turns out someone did know. Back in the 50s, geologist M. King Hubbard predicted that sometime in the early 1970s, production of oil in the United States would max out and then decline from then on. He was immediately hailed as a genius. In 1970, U.S. production did peak and has been shrinking ever since. When Hubbard's method is applied to worldwide oil production, it predicts a peak early in the 21st century. More or less, now. That might not be so bad, except that Hydrocarbon Man took the buried treasure and spent it building the most complex, high-maintenance civilization the world has ever seen. Everything we need and want is made of oil or with oil. All of it. Oil has no equal and no substitute, despite rosy predictions to the contrary. Hydrocarbon man shelters in it, bathes in it, drinks it and eats it. Hydrocarbon agriculture consumes 10 calories of oil energy to produce one calorie of food energy. In other words, hydrocarbon man is oil. When the worldwide production of oil reaches its peak, as it must, and begins its decline, as it will, hydrocarbon man will decline with it. Slowly or suddenly, quietly or violently, no one can say. What is certain is that hydrocarbon world cannot outlive cheap, abundant oil. But I have a confession to make. I lied when I said I have a ringside seat. There are no spectators out here. I am Hydrocarbon Man. I've come far. But now, it's a long walk home. 
better get started.